Time you check out at the grocery store, expect to have a an even higher bill. Oh boy. Well, you probably already noticed a price increase in some items, but a new report from Goldman Sachs says that grocery prices are going to rise by as much as 6%. Uh, that is on top of a similar increase that we saw last year. Mm. Corn First Taylor Basaki spoke with an agricultural economist about what is going on here. Uh, she joins us now live from Mill Valley at one of the markets there. Taylor. Well, Vicki, this is definitely one of my smaller grocery store receipts, but even after each of my trips, I feel a bit of that sticker shock after looking over the damage. And I'll tell you, after speaking with many shoppers today, many of them feel it too. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I do a double take, like almost $10 for a loaf of bread or milk, you know. It's definitely increased uh, somewhere 25, maybe 30 percent, depending what one's buying. Shoppers in Mill Valley surprised by the price of their groceries over the last year and not surprised after learning the costs are expected to continue climbing. Oh, the basics, eggs have increased, milk's definitely gone up. Uh, the other discretionary items like, like sweets, those have increased. Beef, for sure. It's been astounding what beef has done. Because of the prices, Adam McAfee is turning a hobby into a cost savings plan. Today I went shopping for vegetable starts, so I'm going to do a vegetable garden this year, and uh, uh, which um, I think there's as much enjoyment in that as there is money savings. In a new report, economists at Goldman Sachs say grocery store prices will likely increase by another 5 to 6 percent this year. Professor of Agricultural Economics at UC Davis, Daniel Sumner, explains some of the reasons for these price hikes and where we might see them. Milk prices are likely to be higher this coming year, partly because of milk prices for sort of international supply and demand reasons, milk prices are likely to be higher at the farm level. That's going to drive them higher at the supermarket level. Uh, meat prices have already been higher, quite a bit higher over the last year or two. And so I don't see them going up a lot more, but you know, again, uh, things can happen. The weather has a lot to do with it. The cost of orange juice, for example, is expected to rise by roughly 10% due to Florida producing about 40% fewer oranges than last year because of a disease called citrus greening, which affects the orange trees. In addition to bad weather and poor crop yields, Sumner adds that tight inventories and strong demand have also caused a hike in general prices. All of these are affected by the underlying prices going up for everything else because it's packaging and transport and supermarket labor, et cetera. Now, since the start of the pandemic, food costs have increased about 11 percent, making it harder for working families to catch up, especially as wages over the same time period have declined. For now, we're live in Mill Valley, Taylor Bisaki, Cron 4 News.